Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about image options in Google Slides, options for inserting images, options for manipulating images, and then also replacing images and having what you did to the previous image remain with the new image. Please note that what we talk about today applies to Google Drawings as well. So let's insert an image. We have two options. We can either click the image icon here or insert and then image. Our choices are to use our computer uploads, search the web, use Google Drive, Google Photos, use a URL, which I really like doing, or just use our device camera. That's pretty neat as well. For our purposes, we will search the web. And let me pretend that I'm a student who has an assignment on politics, current events, or someone I admire. So I will search for a person who fits that bill. Her name is Nina, Nina Turner, and I will search for her and look at the images that appear. Now, I want to take you over to another tab for a minute. This is a search for Nina Turner uh, in Google Image Search where I have labeled for reuse under tools. And if you notice, these are identical to what comes up in this image search inside of Google Slides. So these images are labeled for reuse. So let me choose one image real quick. We'll click insert. First, this image is a little big relative to the slide, so I will just tighten it up by dragging that real quick. Let's talk about things you can do to manipulate images. First of all, add alt text. So if we click insert, or excuse me, format, and then alt text, and the reason you do that is for users who have screen readers at home, and they will not be able to see the image, but will get an idea of what it is from your alt text. So let me type in some alt text. And I like to just use the same in both fields. And so now for accessibility purposes, this is somewhat decent. Let's crop this image. So let's pretend that we want this image to be more of a portrait. It's kind of in a landscape aspect ratio. So let's crop it. Okay, there it is now. Let's give it a border. I love giving it a border. Um, and usually I use black, but this image black doesn't show up very well as the border. So I will make it red. That shows up better. The other thing I would say is for that, I like one point as a font. Two, I think we're starting to get a little big, although that two isn't that bad. I like uh, one point for my, uh, one pixel for my border images. All right, let's link this image. So let's hyperlink it. Real cool thing about hyperlinking in G Suite is that you don't even need to get the actual URL. You can just look for it right here. And I will go to Nina Turner's website and I will click apply and now it hyperlinks as well. The newer features are under format options. So let's go to format options. Recolor and adjustments, I'm not a big fan of. I don't use them in Google Slides or drawings. If you wanna use those, use it in Canva, that's the best way. Drop shadow though is pretty, uh, is fun and actually reflections a little bit better. Let's apply a drop shadow. There's not much there, but if I add more distance to that drop shadow and look at that, I have a little bit of a shadow right there. All right, let's also do a reflection. I really like the reflection. I think that helps give it a nice professional look. All right, so I've manipulated this image. I've cropped it, I've hyperlinked it, I've added alt text, I've added a drop shadow, I've added a reflection. But let's say this is not the image I want. Okay, but I wanna keep as much formatting as I can. So let's right click that image. Let's click replay. Uh, you can reset the image and have all that formatting go away, but I will replace the image. And again, I will search the web and I will again search the web for Nina Turner. Let's say I want to use this image right here. So I click, it gives me the replace button. I click that and look at what happens. My formatting is there. As far as cropping, it's cropped it just the same way. Now you'll probably have to adjust that for most of them. It's got the border, it's got the drop shadow, it has the reflection as well. It still has the hyperlink. One piece that does not survive is unfortunately the alt text.
that you see is blank. But other than that, when you replace an image in slides and drawings, that manipulation stays with it, which is really, really handy. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. If you like this video and want some more about EdTech, please sub subscribe and like and share as well. Thank you so much for watching.